Hi everyone, I'm Karen Lee Potter and welcome to Love Encore. Today's episode is exactly what it looks like. It's Spot the Eagles concert that I went to the other night in Rosemont, Illinois, which is really Chicago. It was just a peaceful, easy feeling the whole night long. They've been around since 72, hence the number on my shirt. They're in their 60s, but they sound exactly the same as they did when I listened to them as a kid. I had such a great time at this concert for so many reasons. I went and asked most of the people around me what they thought after the concert, and they said, phenomenal, anthology, poetic, harmonic, outstanding. There's not one person that didn't have that same consistent feeling that it's just incredible to see musicians that can last the test of time. At one point, there's six guys up there, they're all six vocals, playing guitar at the same time. And I saw them years and years ago in Las Vegas. I had that same feeling that this is really something special. And I got that same feeling when I saw them at this time in concert. I, I did not recognize the first two songs, but after that, I think I knew every single song. What's so great about the Eagles is everyone in the audience is so familiar with every song that as soon as those first two notes hit, you know what the song is. <laughs> You can't help but start singing along and Joe Walsh, he plays the guitar like none other. I did actually get a Joe Walsh pick, JW, or my pick collection, which I say is for my son, but it's really my collection. What makes this group so unique is that each one of these members are talented in their own right. We got Glenn Fry. I, I think everybody's favorite was John Henley, even though I don't know what was going on with his hair. Timothy B. Schmidt from Poco sounded awesome, although when he talked, he sounds a little like Mickey Mouse. In 1978, I did my first tour as an eagle. Joe Walsh comes out there. He's so comical. He also does this thing called the talk box or something, like Peter Frampton did this too. <laughs> they did some really cool stuff with the videos. I don't know what's been with concerts lately. The videos are so cool. A country western background. You don't even know where to look. <laughs> You don't know if you should look on stage. There's phenomenal guitars, the screens that are playing, or should you look at this video going on in the background? You had Godzilla at one point. The other thing that was so comforting during this concert was remembering all the times that you heard certain songs at certain times in your life. I can't tell you why. <laughs> I mean, I just remember like I was making out with someone to that song. It just got this, you know, you don't even know where it was or who it was, but you just had this feeling. There's so many songs like Lion Eyes. Who doesn't know a girl that... You can't got Lion Eyes. I mean, everyone I know in that audience thinking the same thing I was, which is, oh, that reminds me of so-and-so. Hit after hit after hit. Hotel California as the encore, which, you know, that we're waiting the whole time to hear those first few notes. <laughs> and I end with Don Henley coming up by himself with his guitar. Singing Desperado. All the other band members coming on with him and then at the end it's him alone again. It's just something just, just really chilling. <laughs> Heartache Tonight was the most fun song. The whole audience is just doing it. There were a few differences between the other concerts that I've seen. One being nobody stands even at the really fun dancing numbers. You feel like guilty if you're standing up because you're you know, blocking someone's view and back at you. But how could you not want to dance to a lot of these songs? The other thing is you don't smell pot. You know, you're waiting for that waft of marijuana that you would think would be at a, of all places an Eagles concert and there was no pot. The Eagles have this ability to make you feel like you're in your living room and these guys are just regular guys telling stories about how they went into the group, making fun of them themselves oh we need to take a break we need to take a bathroom break because we're old you really feel connected with them all in all this group would appeal to multiple generations their music is timeless and that's what's so cool they write poetry they write music that you can relate to so go see the eagles you'll really have a great time can't get to a concert 
you got my video clips here. I hope you like these concert recaps. I'm gonna keep on doing it. It's a Cougar's way of living. If you like my show, please subscribe. I put out videos every Wednesday. Comment, like, share this with your friends. Yeah.